So we begin our analysis of uh, this JFET device or this junction field effect transistor device in the last video. And we reason how this IV characteristics, which looks very similar to a MOSFET, arises from this device. So you get a linear region, you get a saturation region. And we, we, we kind of, you know, reason how, why this happened. But it's still a perplexing device. So, you know, you might get uh, one question that often comes to my mind is, you know, I'm always confused what, what's happening in this saturation region or over in this region when I'm increasing my drain voltage. So I'm increasing my drain voltage, but my current is remaining the constant. So how is this possible? Because, you know, I'm increasing my drain voltage. That is, I'm increasing this drain voltage, meaning I'm increasing my electric field in this direction. So I'm increasing my electric field in this Y direction. So my, my holes which are present over here, which are present inside the channel, they should, you know, they should uh, get accelerated more because there's more electric field uh, present. So how is this current remaining constant? And another question, I, 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 you know, at least, you know, I'm, I get confused by that if I have these two, these two depletion regions and they merge, which I call as the condition of pinch off, then this whole region is depleted. So where is this current flowing from? So if, if this region is pinched off, where is the current flowing? Because there's a channel for, there's a channel floor for the flow of the current over here. So, you know, the current is flowing over here, but if it is this region completely pinched off or is there like a narrow conduit here for these holes to flow? So let's answer some of these questions. So we can answer some of these questions by drawing some, um, drawing some uh, band diagram and some energy profiles. So let me draw the, you know, let me draw the potential profile first of what happens along this device if I apply a voltage. So I'll call, I'll draw a potential profile along the middle of the channel. So I'll draw a potential profile along this, along this dotted, dotted uh, white line. And I'll call this point as, this point as Y equal to zero. And then the point very close to the drain as Y equal to L. And I'm assuming that my device has a length L. So let's look at how this potential profile looks if I keep on increasing my drain voltage. So let me scroll over here. Okay, so I'll draw the potential profile. So I'll draw the potential profile. So this is V, okay, for all this three cases as a function of L. So on the X axis, I have, I have Y. So let me consider the case when I'm only applying a small drain voltage. So when I'm applying a small drain voltage, what we reasoned in the last video was that this voltage drop would be linear or when I'm applying the small drain voltage, this depletion width, I'll assume that this uh, PN uh, junction over here, the depletion width uh, does not change much because I'm only applying a, only applying a small voltage. So in, the, in that case, this voltage drop occurs linearly across this, across the length of the device. So in that case, my potential profile along this Y direction would essentially simply look like a linear drop or this device would, I can say, you know, this would be uh, like a resistor, simple resistor where my potential, it just drops, it just drops linearly as you go along. So over here, I'm at zero and over here, I'm at, I've uh, applied a drain voltage of minus uh, point, uh, 0.2. So this drop would be linear. Now, what happens if I keep on increasing the increasing the drain voltage? So what's happening over here is as I'm increasing my drain voltage, the regions which are very close to the drain. So this uh, PN junction, which is very close to the drain region, it's now getting reverse bias and my depletion width is increasing. So my channel is channel is is becoming narrower and narrower as I approach closer to the drain. So if I go from one, two, three, four, this width, which is, or the channel width, which is available for uh, conduction, it's decreasing as I, as I move along this device towards the drain. But on the other hand, my current is the constant. So if I think about this current, so I can write the current across this device as essentially my mobility of my holes 
into the number of the holes which will be detected by the dopings multiplied by the electric field in this direction or an electric field in the y direction and this would be integrated over the width of this channel so this would be multiplied by this width of the channel so now what's happening as i move along the drain is that this width of the channel is getting reduced so to maintain the same current the electric field which is present has to go up in this direction so if i think about the voltage drop now what will happen is that my voltage drop would be non-linear as i move along as i move along this uh, channel direction of my device so i have a larger channel width over here so i'll have less electric field and when I move closer and closer to the drain, I'm decreasing the width of the channel available for conduction. So my electric field as I move along the drain increasing. Similarly, the potential drop at this point, so point number four, which is very close to the drain, it will have a higher potential drop as compared to point one, which is close to the source. So the so the potential profile in this case, you know, it becomes highly nonlinear. And so I'll have less potential drop as i move you know as i move from from this near to the source to the middle of the channel and then suddenly i have a lot of electric fields i have a lot more potential drop as i move as i move close to close to the drain so this is let's say zero volt in this case i'm applying applying minus 0.5 volt so most of my potential drop it's occurring close to the close to the drain side and now what happens when this thing pinches off so when it pinches off again i what i'm doing is i'm reducing my width of the channel to a very minimum in fact my width of the channel is approaching zero but to maintain this current to be constant this electric field will keep on has to keep on increase so there will be a very large electric field when i'm approaching uh, close to the drain along this uh, y direction or you know along this uh, uh, direction and i'll have a large potential drop very close to the drain so my potential profile in that case would look you know something like it starts from zero and and again there is there is some amount of drop as i move along as i move along but then there's a huge huge drop and maybe it you know even goes beyond this as i approach close to the drain so this is how my potential profile would uh, look like again my channel width it will keep on decreasing as i in keep on increasing my drain voltage but there'll be still a small conduit available over here whose width keep on decreasing as i keep on elect increasing the electric field but it's not exactly zero if this is this is this conduit becomes narrower and not an error if i uh, if i pinch uh, if i approach pinch off but there's still you know there's a conduit available to allow this flow of holes across uh, this uh, device so hopefully you know that clears out uh, some doubts and in the next video we'll derive the iv relationship for this jf jf device